All right, folks, what I'm about to read you is going to shock you. Richard Dawkins is now saying there could be a deistic God. Check this out. A serious case could be made for a deistic God. Richard Dawkins is now admitting that God can exist. I told you, atheist, I told you. Christian theism is making large segues. Check this out. It says, on Tuesday evening, this, um, this person right here with the uh, Melanie Phillips, with the Spectator, very reputable newspaper, she says that, I believe Melanie is a woman, she attended the debate between Richard Dawkins and John Lennox at Oxford's Natural History Museum. Watch this. This is going to blow your mind. It said, Lennox is the Oxford mathematics professor whose book, God's Undertaker and Has Science Buried God, is to my mind an exoriating demolition of Dawkins' overreach from biology into religion, as expressed in his book, The God Delusion. All the more devastating because Lennox attacks Dawkins on the basis of science itself. As we know, Christian theism is smack dab perfectly situated into real science. It is atheism whose modern science has now put its back against the wall. Atheism has its back against the wall. The witness to this debate says in the first debate, which can be seen on video on this website, Dawkins was badly caught off balance by Lennox's argument precisely because possibly for the first time Dawkins was being challenged on his own chosen scientific ground. Dawkins got destroyed in this debate. Dawkins dis conceded that God can exist. It says, this week's debate, however, was different because from the off, Dawkins moved into safer territory and at the very beginning made a most startling admission. Here it is, my Christian brothers and sisters. Dawkins admits it. A serious case could be made for a deistic God. It's over, atheist. It is over. The article goes on to say, this was surely remarkable. Of course it's remarkable. Docking saying that not just a case, a serious case, can now be made for the deistic God. He's admitting God can't exist. Richard Dawkins, the atheist, admits God can't exist. The article says, here was the archapostle, the archapostle of atheism. The archapostle of atheism whose whole case is based on the assertion that believing in a creator of the universe is no different from believing in fairies at the bottom of the garden. Now he says that a serious case can be made that the idea that the universe was brought into by some kind of purposeful force, a creator. Look at that. There it is. A creator. There you have it, atheist. This is a huge win for Christian theism. Richard Dawkins is now admitting that God can exist. Now, I strongly suggest you click below this video you are now watching and look at some more proof and evidence that atheism is not true. Even now, Dawkins is moving away from atheism. I guarantee you, before Dawkins reaches his older years, He's probably going to become a deist, a theist, just like Anthony Flew the atheist did. Dawkins now admits that a serious case could be made for a deistic God. It's over atheism. Game over.